Dear friends, welcome to Bond with Arctic Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the previous year questions which are appearing in SUP's entrance examination in chemistry from the lesson spectroscopy from the year 2014 to 2020. These are year-wise questions from the lesson of spectroscopy. The splitting of nuclear spin energy levels in magnetic field is known as here different effects are given Stark effect, Gman effect, mass bar effect, and a cotton effect. Stark effect, this is the splitting of electron spin. Here there is a splitting of electron spin in presence of electrical field, which is known as Stark effect. Gman effect, this one also splitting of electron spin but this one is in presence of magnetic field. Mass bar effect, this one is also known as nuclear Gman effect. This one is nuclear Gman effect. Here there is a splitting of nuclear spin in presence of magnetic field. Next one, cotton effect. This one is a change in rotation of OR, the optical rotation, dispersion and uh, CV. So the correct option is mass bar effect. The order of electromagnetic radiation with increasing wavelength is in electromagnetic radiation we have seven regions one is uh, gamma, x-rays, UV, visible, IR, infrared, and the micro and radio waves. Let's take energy, the energy order, gamma, high energy radiation. This is the order, gamma is greater than X-rays, X-rays is greater than UV, UV is greater than visible, visible is greater than IR, IR is greater than micro, micro is greater than radio waves. And also frequency, frequency and wave number, this is the order. We know that there is a inverse relation between the energy and the wavelength, that is lambda. So the order will be, this is the order. Visible, less than IR, less than micro, less than radio. This is the order. So high wavelength is uh, radio. And the next to the radio, micro, like this. So in this we have ultraviolet, infrared, microwave and radio. The highest wavelength is radio, next one is micro, next one is infrared, next one is ultraviolet. So the correct option is C. Which of the following compounds will have its absorption maximum at the longest wavelength? Here, lambda max, in UV visible spectroscopy, this one depends on conjugation, extension of conjugation. As the extension of conjugation increases, uh, there is an increase in lambda max value. Yet we have to observe what is the extension of conjugation in the given organic molecules. Here, 1, 2, 5 hexatriene is given. This is wrong. 1, 2, 5 hexatriene. 1, 2 and this is a 1 to 5. Here there is a conjugation between these two pi, pi bonds. So in this molecule, two pi bonds are in conjugation. Two pi bonds. If you take hex 1 5 hexadiene, 1 5 hexadiene, if you take, here there is no conjugation. There is no conjugation of pi bonds since the position is at uh, 1 and 5. 1, 3 hexa di i, 1, 3 positions are uh, in conjugation. So here 2 pi bonds are in conjugation. Here 2 pi bonds, here there is no conjugation. Here 1, 3, 5 hexa phi in. This is a 1, 3, 5. So these are in conjugation. This double bond is in conjugation with this double bond. This double bond is in conjugation with this double bond. Here 3 pi bonds are in conjugation. As the conjugation increases, lambda max increases. So the longest wavelength we can observe 
in your visible spectroscopy in this molecule you can observe longest wavelength 135 hexa 5 the proton nmr spectrum of cho3 cl ch2cl will exhibit let's write the complete structure this one ch3 wo ch this is a h this is a cl and CH2Cl, CH2 and Cl. This is the structure of uh, the given molecule. Here, how many different types of protons are there? How many different non equivalent protons are there? This is the A type of proton, this one is B type of proton, this one is C type of proton. If you observe the A type of proton, at 1 to position, at 1 to position, there is no proton. So, here there is no splitting, no splitting. No splitting means you will get singlet. Okay, one singlet you will get. Here this uh, proton, this is the proton which is attached with this carbon. And the next carbon has two protons. These two protons split the signal of uh, this proton into n plus 1. n plus 1 means here two protons are there. So, this proton signal will be split into three. So, here you can observe triplet. Here you can observe triplet. And if you take these two protons, the signal of these two protons will be split by this proton. So, here the n plus 1 will be 2. So, here you can observe doublet. So, three proton singlet you have, three proton singlet. One proton, one proton uh, triplet and a two proton doublet you can observe in this molecule. Match the following. Analyze spectroscopy, we use a microwave radio frequency we use. What is the frequency we use? Radio frequency. And EPS spectroscopy, we use a microwave radiation. We use microwave radiation. IR spectroscopy, there is a vibration of molecules takes place. So, it's a vibrational spectroscopy. It's a vibration of molecules. UV visible spectroscopy, when you deviate UV light or visible light, there is a transition between electronic levels. So, it's an electron transition takes place. So, what is the correct option? First one is uh, matched with R. Second one is matched with S. And third one is matched with the Q, and fourth one is matched with the P. This is the correct action. The spectroscopic technique used to study electronic transitions. Electronic transitions will be studied in UV visible. Here you study vibrations. Vibrations. Here you study spin of electron. You study. You study unpaid electron. The molecules uh, which have unpaid electrons can be. Can be detected by EPR and NMR. You can study how many non equivalent protons are there, and also you can study what is the environment of a proton. So, electron transition uh, takes place in UV visible spectroscopy. The infrared spectrum of diatomic molecule with the reduced mass 2.52 into 10 to the power of minus 26 kg shows an intense line at 380 cm inverse. The force constant of the molecule is, according to Hooke's law, mu bar is equal to, wave number is equal to 1 by 2 pi c root k by mu. Here you have to calculate what is the force constant of this uh, diatomic molecule. So, root k by mu is equal to 2 pi c mu bar. And the k is equal to k by mu is equal to 2 pi c mu bar whole square. So k is equal to 2 pi c mu bar whole square into mu. So this is the formula of force constant. When you substitute the, the parameters which are given, it's a 2 into 3.14 into light velocity in meters. 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second 
and the mu bar is given in centimeter inverse, you have to convert it into meter inverse. So you have to multiply with uh, 100, that is tan square meter inverse. So this one is a 380 into tan square meter inverse, whole square into mu is given 2.52 into tan to the power of minus 26 kf. Okay, upon simplification, you simplify, you will get around 128.6 like that. So it is approximately equal to 129 newton meter inverse. So the correct option is C. When an X-ray beam collides with an electron, a part of the proton energy is transferred to the electron and the light is scattered. Here there is a scattering effect. This effect is known as in the Gman and the Stark effect, Stark effect, there is no scattering. There is a splitting of energy levels. In Raman and the Compton, you can find scattering, but there is a difference. In the Raman, there is a, you can find scattering. Here also there is a scattering. But in Raman, we use a visible light. In Compton effect, we use X-ray. And in Raman, you can find uh, there is a increase in lambda or decrease in lambda of scatter light. But here, there is an increase in lambda. So these are the differences between the Raman effect and the Compton effect. Here, X-ray beam is used, so the effect will be Compton effect. The total number of rotational and vibrational degrees of freedom for uh, this molecule or here the number of uh, translational, rotational, vibrational. It depends on whether it is uh, linear or non-linear. In linear and non-linear, both the cases you have three translational along the x, y, z axis. Rotational you have a for linear two only, non-linear you have three. And the total degrees of freedom, 3n. 3n, it's a number of modes of uh, translational, rotational, and vibrational. If you remove translational and rotational from total modes, you will get uh, here 3n minus 5, and here you get 3n minus 6. First, you have to observe whether the molecule is uh, linear or non-linear. Here, the sp3 hybridization, so it's a non-linear molecule. And uh, so the molecule is non-linear. And how many atoms are there? Three. Here three you have, here two, and here four. Three plus two plus four is equal to nine. Nine atoms are there. It's a non-linear. So the vibrational modes, the number of uh, vibrational modes will be equal to three and minus six, uh, three into nine minus six, uh, twenty-seven minus six. Uh, will be equal to 21. Here you have 3 rotational and uh, 21, 21 vibrational more. So C is the correct option. The CH stretching vibration occurs at 2800 cm inverse. The corresponding CD vibration will occur at. Okay, here when you increase, this is a Hooke's law equation, mathematical form of Hooke's law, 1 by 2 pi C root uh, k by mu. Suppose if you increase mu, if you increase reduced mass, if you increase mass of atoms, here when you compare the carbon CH bond, you have uh, G in place of hydrogen, CH and CD when you compare in place of hydrogen, you have uh, D. So the reduced mass uh, mu CH will be equal to M1, M2 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 mu is equal to this is the formula m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 so for ch bond the reduced mass will be equal to 12 into 1 by 12 plus 1 so it will be 12 by 13 and the mu word cd let's take mu cd is equal to 12 into 2 divided by 12 plus 2 14 24 by so here, mu CD, the reduced mass of uh, mu CD is greater than mu CH. When there is an increase in mu, there is a decrease in mu bar. 
when you observe these values, this one is 2800 cm. Remaining values are higher than 2800 cm. This is the lower than 2800 cm. So the correct charge will be 1900 to 2100 cm. When you put when you put the residual masses in this equation, upon simplification, you also you will get uh, around 2050 cm. For this, you have to use uh, mu1 bar by mu2 bar is equal to root to mu2 by mu1. Okay. You have to calculate mu2 bar, mu2 bar is equal to mu1 bar root to mu1 by mu2. When you substitute mu1 bar, this value, and mu1 and mu2, you will get around 2050 cm mass. Okay. The number of normal modes of vibration in benzene, this is the formula of benzene C6H6, this is a non-linear. For non-linear, number of vibration modes will be equal to 3 n minus 6. So it will be equal to 3 into C6 and 6. There are 12 atoms are there. So 12 minus 6, 36 minus 6 will be equal to 30. So B is the correct option. The cardinal stretch frequencies in IR spectrum will follow the order. If we take the stretching frequencies of C double bond O, the stretching frequencies depend on the groups which are attached with C double bond O. Here I have given generally the range, the stretching frequency range of C double bond O is in between 1600 to 1800. The basic value is 1715. This is the ketone. Ketone is basic value. It ranges from 1600 to 1800. Highest is acid chloride. Next ester, aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid, amide. Amide is least. So here ester is given, ketone is given, and amide is given. From ketone, from ketone, aldehyde, ester, acid chloride, they have higher values. And carboxylic acids, amides, they have lower values when compared with ketone. So the order should be ester greater than ketone greater than amide. In next video, I will explain the part two of the spectroscopy. Thank you. Thank you very much.